2018. What happened in 2018? Well, nothing but the 2018 draft as far as I'm concerned. What's crackalacking? It's your boy, Brushmo, just in case you did not know. So welcome back to the Never Too Early Draft podcast. That's right. I said podcast. You could find it at any of the uh, podcast distributors I have listed in the comment section below. If you want ad-free viewing, go check that out. Support the podcast. Of course, we're going to be going over the 2018 NFL Draft, giving out new grades now that we're a few years down the line and we can kind of reflect and truly see how good this class was. But yeah, I guess let's go ahead and do the dang thing. All right, man. We're going to go class by class, alphabetical order. We're going to start with the Arizona Cardinals. Um, And we're not starting off strong, man. Josh Rosen. Didn't really work out, did it? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, obviously this was a big miss. I mean, they were lucky to get a second round pick back for him. Even Christian Kirk um, hasn't really developed like they thought he would. Mason Cole no longer on the team. Traded. He was... One of the worst starting centers his rookie season. Uh, their best pick easily is Chase Edmonds, uh, which is a running back, which is not saying much. It's an F class. Easy. Yeah, not starting off too strong, but it gets better. We're going to go on a roll here. We're going to go to the Atlanta Falcons. I gave them a B grade. I actually really like this draft class. Calvin Ridley, what a hit. Banger pick. Isaiah Oliver hasn't really materialized into, well, a starter. Uh, Senate's actually been a pretty good rotation player there. Ito Smith, I mean, running back, he's he's in the rotation. Doesn't really bring too much. But Russell Gage has seen a little bit of time there in the slot. Um, probably one of my favorite picks. I mean, Ridley, easily their best pick. But one of my favorite picks that they had was Foye um, Aluakun. Safety out of Yale. Converted him to a linebacker. Probably one of the better coverage linebackers in the league. He's, he got his time to shine last year as a starter. So, I, yeah, gave this class a B. I thought it was particularly pretty good class. I thought they did a good job. And then the Baltimore Ravens, they had a bevy of picks here. And I actually gave Baltimore an A. Anytime you could get your franchise quarterback, I think it's an A draft. Even with the Hayden Hurst, you could say, yeah, it, it was a miss, but... At least they got a high second round pick back for him. But Lamar Jackson's been one of the probably yeah, one of the most dynamic quarterbacks in the league, one of the toughest to stop. Orlando Brown was a pro bowler at his position before they traded him for a first rounder. So if anything, you turn to that third rounder to a first rounder. Pretty solid. Mark Andrews, actually, I would consider him probably a top ten tight end in the league. Um, but after that. Because Kenny Young, they actually ended up shipping to the Rams. Uh, but Deshaun Elliott was a pretty good snag. Bradley Bozeman is um, he's a starter. <laughs> he's probably going to be the center this year, playing guard. Um, really, really mainly playing guard. Um, last couple of years, I believe, right? Now that I say that out loud, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, okay. I thought so, yeah. But yeah, he's he's probably going to line back up at center this year. Yeah, it's an A, easy A. Uh, yeah, they got misses here and there. But when you have this many picks, though, and you're able to get pro, bo uh, pro bowlers out of Jackson, Brown, Andrews, uh, Elliott's a very competent starter there in um, that safety. You could say the same thing about Bozeman. Yeah, it's really they did a really good job, really good class. Uh, second, second verse, same as the same as first. Josh Allen, a, 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 a. They got their franchise quarterback of the future. They didn't get much too else out of this class. Like yes, Tremaine Edmonds has been a starter. Um, like he was, he was long, he's fast, but he he hasn't really become the disruptor in in the passing game like they thought he would be. Um, I would say he's probably one of the more probably one of the worst coverage linebackers in the nfl currently but harrison phillips is a solid rotation guy Tarrant johnson they're playing in the slot hasn't really done too much uh imagine how great this class would have been if they didn't trade away wyatt teller 
like shoot even Rory McLeod's been a solid special teamer for the Steelers but man Wyatt Teller man I always forget that he was drafted by the Bills and traded literally a year later and look at him now look at him now overall they did like I would I would definitely say hey Josh Allen man it's all it's really all you need to say the, the rest of this could be smut I mean the the fact that they're get it, they're still getting um, decent, if not quality, play from their first four picks, I think says a lot. The Carolina Panthers, I ended up giving it a B. They really only got in production out of their top two stars, but luckily they're two positions of great value being receiver. DJ Moore's just been an excellent yards after the catch type of guy. Uh, Dante Jackson, I think, is a very good. Um, I think he's better suited to be a number two corner in the league. Very athletic. Uh, but no one else has really panned out of this class, especially Ian Thomas, man. Which is probably going to be replaced this year by Tommy Tremble at some point. Uh, but, yeah, really nothing else out of this class. But they did good on the first two picks. That's really where you, you really want to hit, in the at least in the first four rounds, hit at least two guys. And I think they did a good job of doing that. The Chicago Bears. I gave the Bears a B as well. This is actually one of their probably one of their better classes. Uh, Raquan Smith really came into his own. Probably now a top ten linebacker in the league. Uh, he had a promising start, then kind of injuries, but last year was really good for him. James Daniels, I think, is a quality starter uh, along the interior. Anthony Miller, right now on the on the uh, trade block, but he's an okay. Uh, slot guy like you could start him outside as well probably my favorite pick by them though is Bilal Nichols is a very solid um like player there whether he's a you have him in your rotation or even start him like he's been very very good very good it's just you know for this class where they hit was just positions not of great value offensive defensive interior linebacker it's just positions that don't really make big impacts like pass rush like corner like um receiver quarterback <laughs> you can even say tackle yeah uh going to the cincinnati Bengals. this is uh this one was kind of rough i mean i'm glad they got a couple of actually i think i think they did decent with the Jesse Bates pick, well, more than decent, he's probably a top five, top seven safety in the league. Um, Darius Phillips is a quality guy there at corner. Where like, it, you typically want to have at least like four good corners on your roster, and Phillips would be welcomed in any cornerback room in the NFL. Uh, say what you want about Auden Tate. Obviously, Billy Price is like the big bust here. Sam Hubbard's fine. Ah. Uh, but like they really got nothing out of the rest of their picks though like malik jefferson mark walton uh harris brown woodside he was on tennessee actually what last year i think so yeah i think really you're coming out of this class with hubbard who i think is probably more of a rotation player um bates obviously being the star of this class and then phillips is good so i i'd give it a c it's pretty average um cleveland browns again they potentially have their quarterback of the future baker mayfield but then they got denzel ward probably another guy that's like a top 15 corner in the league uh, austin corbett is elsewhere now never really worked out there in cleveland but nick chubb being one of the top running backs in the league shoot Jannard avery was really showed some flashes his rookie season with five sacks just he ended up getting shipped off the next year um antonio callaway never really worked out uh off field issues and such but yeah it's an easy a just for the mayfield and they hit with ward it's great when you could potentially hit on your on two top five picks and then obviously nick chubb being very nice there as well dallas cowboys ended up giving them a B. Um, I think they got a lot of quality players at. <sighs> yeah, they got quality players here. Like Michael Gallup ended up being a really good get there. It's nice if you get hit on your top 100 picks. Uh, and I would say Connor Williams is trending upwards. It's really 
Vander Etch that really hasn't really like he was a banger his rookie year and then just injuries have really wrecked a promise and career man uh, but I think Williams and Gallup, obviously really good picks. Dalton Schultz even this year kind of showed out. He's a quality uh, depth to have at tight end. Cedric Wilson has actually been a solid like receiver, wide receiver four on that roster. Uh, outside of that, yeah, they didn't really have too much of anything else. Um, but yeah, I gave it, what did I get? Yeah, I gave it a B because, I mean, Gallup, kind of huge it's position of value getting williams uh i think schultz is a fine pick schultz honestly i think could start um on and on probably like 10 different nfl rosters uh he's actually pretty good i was pretty impressed with him um last year after blake jarwin went down then the denver broncos i gave this an a they hit it out of the park on their first two picks. Royce Freeman is kind of like the third running back on that roster. Um, but Bradley Chubb, one of the better pass rushers in the league. Stupid disruptive. Uh, Cortland Sutton is a, what you want from your contested catch receiver. Like, it, it's near him. Like, I, I would say maybe... Uh, <laughs> Maybe Mike Williams is a bit more impressive at the contest catch, but he's just so flashy. That's why Cortland Sutton's right up there. Um, so I'll hit in position, in positional value, man. Pass rush, wide playmaker, wide receiver. Obviously, Adam uh, didn't really develop well. Um, Josie Jewell, though, he's been a mainstay there at special teams and at linebacker. Uh, Chance Hamilton didn't really develop well like they didn't really hit much after that in this class though uh but i'm, I'm very happy with your first two selections and then also getting jewel is pretty solid and if Re freeman it's a say what you will i mean he brings something to the running back room he's probably gonna be a you're gonna be able to hold on to him because he'd probably be a cheap re-signing the detroit lions i gave a c they got some they got like players here i'll say that frank rank now easily their best pick one of the better us uh, one of the best centers in the league carry on johnson injuries kind of derailed his uh career there in detroit which wow man that's just something with lions running backs man just health tracy walker has been up and down but i think there's enough flashes there to where uh, I'm willing. I'm willing to give him a bit of a pass. See how he does this year in the new system. Deshaun Hand is a solid rotation guy. Ter Tyrell Crosby. No one talks like this guy. Quietly had a very, a pretty darn good year. Um, at right tackle. I mean, dude, they ended up moving Big V into um guard and if they didn't draft so i i quite frankly i i'd expect crosby still to be the starter on the outside there i thought he was pretty solid but they didn't they don't have any they didn't get any high-end players here um and no real positional value outside of probably maybe walker but yeah i mean crosby's good good depth man like and a bit versatile too he could play guard as well and then the Green Bay Packers are getting a B. Uh, yeah, Jahir Alexander, dude's phenomenal. Probably the best, if not second best, cornerback in the league. Uh, Josh Jackson just hasn't really, never really materialized. Uh, you could say that for the rest of this class, though. Uh, they have MVS. They got St. Brown there, but. Those guys, they're not nothing to write home about. Really, this class is held together by one player, and it's Alexander. So, I gave it, I gave it the B just because how good he is. And then the Houston Texans, I'm giving a D to the Texans. They didn't have a first round, or they didn't have a first or second round pick, but I still thought they did all right justin reed is actually a quality safety in the league jordan atkins will get probably get the start this year we get to see what he can do kiki qt injuries have kind of sucked for him but 
we'll see. Um, he's probably like the fourth receiver there. Probably going to get more um, time in the slot. It's kind of more of his role. Rankins never never developed into much else. But, I mean, when you're picking, your first pick's in the third. I mean, being able to hit on Reed is good. Atkins potentially also being another another hit. Um, Kiki QT, if anything, good depth. Yeah, I, I think it's average considering the situation. But since the situation is there being no, first, no pick till the first round, it's a D. Indianapolis Colts. This is the legendary draft itself. Quinton Nelson, one of, if not the best guard in all of football. Darius Leonard, a top 10 linebacker. Braden Smith, a phenomenal right tackle. Kamoku uh, Ture, like, he's shown a lot of flashes. Like, I, I like him a lot, man. It's just injuries kind of hurt. Well, injuries hurt him last year. I thought he was really going to kind of have a breakout year. Uh, Nahima Hines. Shoot, even Jordan Wilkins got in on the action at running back a um, couple of years ago. So, yeah, this is a great class. Easy A. Easy A. All right, Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, This one's kind of a rough class, admittedly. Um, Brian, kind of a project, never really developed. Kind of like, well, last year I think we saw a bit from him, but he might not be much more than a rotation player. That's not what you want to have in your first round pick. Um, DJ Chark, though, has been very, very good. Um, just a playmaker downfield, man. Like, he's a threat. Uh, Ronnie, uh, let's restart the Jaguars. Three, two, one. Then the Jacksonville Jaguars. Taven Brown, man. Um, probably can't say much more than maybe a rotation player. Like, he started to show some life last year. So, at least there's a bit of promise there. But you don't want to say rotation player for your first round pick, you know? Chark has been excellent. He's a good pickup, good downfield threat. Ronnie Harrison, they actually eventually um, trade to the Browns. Will Richardson, man, he got some time to start last year. I'll, I I think you can say that. But overall, I give this a probably a – I feel like this is a kind C. I think I'm going to switch this to a – no, maybe I'll, I'll stick with C. I'll stick with C. This, uh, this class, like, Chark has been really good. Even if Brian ends up just being a rotation player. At least you got something out of those first two picks. Um, oh, no. This feels like more of a D class. I don't know. I'm kind of in between. Kansas City Chiefs. This one was an F. One of the worst draft classes, actually. Uh, Speaks. I don't even think um, he's on the roster anymore. I might... I'm not positive about it. no 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 I think he is actually no I don't think he actually is is he he's with no he still is I was thinking of the other cat uh was it Tano but he's not been much of anything honestly their best picks probably Naughty who's been quality uh quality he's probably a quality rotation player there on the interior I mean he's not. I would, he's not disruptive in the passing game. He's more of a run stuff, stuffer. Um, Armani Watts, I was expecting more from him, man. I thought he'd be stepping up, but he could. He never could get past Sorsen on the depth chart eventually, just replaced by uh, Juan Thornhill. So really, the, all they got out of here was a run stuff in nose tackle, really. Um, yeah, it's an F class. <laughs> The L.A. Chargers. Derwin James, man. Dude, if he is healthy, like, watch out. He's such a banger pick. Um, Uso has been a solid, uh, I would say he's a solid rotation 
player as a pass rusher. Justin Jones, kind of another guy uh, on the interior. There's a solid um, rotation player. You could say thing about White. White's actually a decent special teamer. But um, when given opportunities to uh, to play there, linebacker, I thought he's been solid. Even Justin Jackson got a little bit on the action. Their seventh rounder. I would say that this is probably a, um, a B class. So, yeah. Easy B. Easy B. Could have been an A, man. Could be an A. I just want to see. I just need... Need James to be healthy. Los Angeles Rams. They had a ton of picks here. Ton of picks. How'd it go? Uh not great. Because their first round or their first pick wasn't until the third round as well. So they're kind of in the same boat there as the um Houston Texans. Uh best pick might end up being Sebastian Um Joseph. What is it? Sebastian Joseph Day? Like, because he actually gets quality playing time there. I mean, no boom. Yeah, I think he had a few spot starts last year, a tackle. But, I mean, uh, if anything, he's just a death player. Brian Allen's been either average or bad. Um, like, John Franklin Myers actually ended up, I think, either a trade or released after his first or s first season, maybe something like that to the jets and he's actually been a solid contributor there but uh shoot man even at the linebacker position like Traven Howard and uh Micah Kaiser have gotten starts but I wouldn't say they're good they're okay at best so this is probably yeah this is a d class for me best player probably in this class would be there in interior with uh john franklin myers and sebastian joseph day uh with day actually still being on the roster the miami dolphins i ended up giving it a c um and i'm a dolphin fan i could i'm cool with that uh micah fit mike or mika fitzpatrick there was a lot of promise with rookie year and just uh, just felt like the dolphins they never util really utilized him right always like they tried to play him similar to how alabama did in the slot they tried to play him of bulk of different places when moved to the Steelers they were just like hey go go be deep and now he's one of the best safeties in the league at least the Dolphins got a first rounder out of it I'll say that uh, Mike Gesicki has been a, been a pretty good tight end for the Dolphins Drum Baker uh hasn't really developed man he's not much in the passing game uh J Jason Sanders man we got a kicker there but easily probably our best picks Fitzpatrick if outside of you know the actual trade but at least we got our first round pick that's probably what makes this a c grade the minnesota vikings this is an interesting class here because mike hughes he actually just ended up getting traded to the chiefs this past offseason uh he never really worked out there brian o'neill though probably easily their best pick uh jalen holmes has seen some time in the rotation but not much tyler Coughlin, i think we'll see more of this year now that kyle uh rudolph is in new york but that's about all that they got from this class like Coughlin, we'll see more of this year but still he's really just a tight end too best pick o'neill easily one of the better right tackles in football very very good and honestly that offensive line now this season cool watch out it looks kind of deadly it is everything that they wished and hoped for now and then we have the new england patriots um you might look at isaiah win and be like wow solid yeah 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 yeah. when able to be on the field you know he's he's been hurt here and there uh but they that's really all that they got from this class Burroughs, maybe um it's a good special team guy. Even Izzo is on a different roster. He's with the Texans, I believe. But Sony Michelle, golly, they picked the wrong Georgia running back. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Duke Dawson never hasn't really done anything there. Uh, Bentley, but still, he's not. He's not a guy that I'm pounding the table like, oh, what a draft class. So I ended up giving it giving it a D just because wins pretty darn good. So, can't be too mad, right? The New Orleans Saints. 
the notorious trade here. They trade two first round picks to go up and get Marcus Davenport. What do you got to show for it, Saints? Like Davenport's fine. Like he's quality edge too. But you gave up way too much. He was not worth two first round picks. Traquan Smith has not been able to be that um big downfield threat. Uh and probably the only other guy that the guys that like produced in the NFL here being Boston Scott now doing that in Philly. And I think Will Clapp, isn't he? I think he's with someone else too. Oh, I was thinking of Alex Kappa. Oh gosh, that's what I was like, Will Clapp. Kappa. Guy Lee. Man, just bad with names. But I ended up giving this a D just because, like, yeah, you got a quality player in Davenport, but, man, you gave up way too much. Uh, the New York Giants, the football Giants. We're going to keep on with the D here. Uh, Saquon Barkley, obviously, running back at two. We're not going to see it again, at least for a while. We're not going to see a running back in the top ten in some time um for as good as saquon has it been it's just not a great position of value will hernandez kind of had a down year last year um lorenzo carter say whatever you want from for being the 66th overall pick you would expect more from him. bj hill might be outside of probably barkley the best player they got here like hills was a solid rotation player he's probably stepping into a bigger role next year now with um davenport gone so davenport not davenport um dalvin tomlinson gone so yeah he he was pretty he was a pretty solid pick there but i mean if the best thing i can say about your draft class is hey you got a solid player on the defensive interior and a good a very very good running back and then yeah it's not a good class the new york jets the infamous sam darnold trade here let me get that right there for y'all so you can see it um sam darnold they traded a lot to get him adam gase broke him <laughs> i still believe in sam i still believe in sam we'll see this year in carolina but yeah outside of that like okay maybe chris herndon but like he, he was showing some promise got hurt 2019 and just i i don't i haven't seen nothing from him since their best pick here might be farukasi he is uh he's been solid on the interior there yeah that's an that's a easy f the best player in your draft class is a six round defensive interior player that's not good that's not good um yeah rough 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 uh the Oakland Raiders, things get a little better here. Like Colton Miller ended up becoming a very solid, a pretty solid tackle. I'd say, obviously, PJ Hall, Brandon Parker, uh, Arden Key, those guys didn't really work out. Maurice Hurst, though, ended up being a really good pickup until they cut him for free. I'll never get that. But, I mean,. <sighs> It's hard to be down on this class, like down on Hurst and Miller, just because I think they're very quality players. Um, it's just he gave away Hurst for free. They got nothing out of this class outside of Miller. Like I was thinking about giving it a C. It might be a D just because how bad they missed out, outside of Colton Miller. And then the release of Hurst. I don't know. I'll let y'all decide D or C. And then the Philadelphia Eagles only had four, five picks, five picks in this class. Actually, fairly solid, though. I ended up giving this a B. Like, Avante Maddox, hey, he's still their corner two right now. That's They got him in the fourth. Like, uh, it's, not, it's not ideal. He hasn't really panned out there yet, but I'm glad that he started. Matt Pryor is a... Uh, is a depth piece there but jordan Mal malata man he it might adrian diller might not have a starting job man <laughs> like malata was actually pretty darn good last year uh this being and i'm telling you man tackles in the it's like that you get to season three and they show you exactly who they are they need those first couple of years of development and then they kind of break out into their own even josh sweat's been a very solid rotation guy there 
And of course, we didn't even talk about Dallas Goddard, their actual first pick being in the second round. Like, this is a pretty good class. Like, while I, I don't think they have, we don't really know with the Mulata yet. Like, they're, they don't have like a banger start outside of a Goddard, who's, I would say, a top 10 tight end in the league. But, I mean, honestly, if, if it's not like Kittle, Waller, or uh, Kelsey, like how much of an impact is that making, you know? So I gave it a B. I think it's still a really good class, especially depending on what they have in Mulata. Could could end up being really good. And then we got the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. I wasn't too hot about this class. Uh, looking back at it, Terrell Edmonds, I always thought was a terrible pick. Uh, I was like, well, they're grabbing a box safety in the first round. He looked much better this year. I still think it doesn't justify growing and grabbing him in the first round. James Washington is he's been a guy there. He's like been there like wide receiver four. Um especially after last year when they have Chase Claypool kind of emerge. Uh Mason Rudolph, we already know. You already know uh what is it? Uh Cora four I think ends up getting the start this year. Um but he didn't he didn't he didn't look great last year uh i mean they're and it, it's just the thing is their best pick might be Edmonds or washington but that's not saying much i gave it a d uh we'll learn more about oka uh oka cora four there we go but i mean you kind of know what you got in Edmonds being he's a startable box safety and then washington just kind of being like a wide receiver four on any depth chart. Uh, Jalen Samuels, actually, he got a little bit of time to shine there, but probably not anymore. Now that they went Najee. It, I mean, it's a pretty pretty stacked running back room there. Uh, the San Francisco 49ers, I really like this class. I ended up giving it a, a B. Uh, Mike McGlinchey, very good right tackle there in the league. Dante Pettis obviously didn't work out. Uh, Fred Warner, though, probably one of the best, if not the best, linebacker currently in all of football. Big Warner fan. We'll see more of more. Ha, ha, ha. See what I did there this year? I believe he'll probably end up being um, a starter. If not, he will have a significant role there. Um, DJ Reed ended up being a pretty okay starter there in Seattle. Uh, outside of that, they didn't really get much from this class. I mean, they saw we've seen bits from Richie James, but he's more of a special team guy. Um, but I mean, getting, uh, caliber players of McGlinchey, Warner, like this is honestly probably borderline a class. It might be an a, I'll let you decide in the comment section below. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Seattle Seahawks. We got. This is a very interesting class. I'm just going to say when you when the best pick you probably made in this class is Michael Dixon, your punter, you probably failed out hard. I gave it an F. Rashad Penny, you drafted him in the first round. At the very least, he should be your starter. Uh, Rasheem Green, I was kind of high on. He's not, not really emerged. I thought he'd be at least a decent, like, pass rusher uh yeah will disley injuries have kind of like screwed with disley he's looked decent when on the field though uh shakeem griffin nada trey flowers stop it but yeah even uh jamarco jones never really developed even jacob martin he's with the texans now so yeah your best pick is probably dixon it's an f but let's talk about the po positive class. Let's talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man. This is a good class. Look at that. Alex Kappa, not Will Clapp. Uh, <laughs> gosh, dude. Literally, uh, literally, man. Those names are so close. So close. It's just you got to subtract an A and add an L. But Vita Vea, probably one of the best nose tackles in all of football. Very good. Ronald Jones, even in his own right. Like, yeah. It, 
he's kind of like in a running back committee, but he's been solid. But double dipping in the second round here with MJ Stewart and Carlton Davis. Obviously, Stewart no longer with the team, ended up going to the Browns, I believe. But Carlton Davis was a big get, big get. You got to take shots at the corner position until you get it right. And this kind of like began that for them. Jordan Whitehead, I mean, he he's had some spot starts here and there too. Like he's been pretty good for them. Alex Kappa, they're at right guard. Yes, yes, right guard has been pretty good. And he's probably like... Like, he's been good, and he's probably the weakest part of their offensive line. That's just weird to say, huh? It's like, yeah, he's been solid. I mean, I know Ryan Jensen had a down year this year, but, like, still. Like, you virtually on your first, what? On your, in the first four rounds, you had one, two, three, four, five, six picks, and you probably hit on five of them. Yeah, you did kind of good. It's an easy A, A plus through the roof. Might be the best class. And then uh, the Tennessee Titans. Um, I, okay, I forgot about the Colts. Colts and the Bucks had really good classes. Tennessee Titans, they only had four picks, and really only the first two matter. Rashawn Evans. Man, run stop, run stop and linebacker. That's all I gotta say. Harold Landry, even like this guy, I it would have been it would be nice if he'd get more pressure. But to be fair, he is on the field a lot, um, and he's really the only reason that this grade isn't like an F. Uh, I gave it a D. Like Harold Landry, I think is an adequate number two pass rusher. For the squad he does a lot for this team in terms of like setting the edge as well but yeah man we'll see we'll see more and then the washington whatever the heck they were called back in the day i'll let you decide uh this class sucked man uh deron Payne is fine but he uh, at pick 13 you you ended up going with defensive interior. It's not a real big position of position of value, but he's probably their best pick. Uh, Darius guys don't need to really say much more of that injuries. And then his stupidity cost him his career. Uh, Chris drawn Christian, not even on the roster anymore. Um, I mean, shoot, even looking at the rest of this, Sean Dion Hamilton, not on the roster anymore, but he was an all right coverage linebacker. Like, yeah, probably the only guy still making way for the squad is um, our boy Troy here at safety. But even then, he, he's kind of been replaced by a um, couple couple of guys they drafted last year. So, yeah, Payne's our best pick. This is a bad draft. It's an F. At least they got Payne out of it. Who is a quality player, but, like, at what cost? Like, you know what I'm saying? But... That is the 2018 draft class. You know we do a 2018 draft right after this redraft. So be on the look for that tomorrow. That obviously means that's it for the video. Go ahead, do that YouTube thing. It's always much appreciated, much obliged. And until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.